conference, it gives me great pleasure to chair the next debate. My name is Linda Carter and I'm a member of the Disabled Workers Committee and an Ulster member. Before I read the committee statement on trade unions securing work from home as a reasonable adjustment, I would like to let attendees know that they can engage with me. If you have any statements, observations or points you would like to bring to the committee's attention, please use the Q&A function. If there's time at the end of the session, I will try to summarise the main points that are being made. For years, disabled workers were told by employers that working from home as a reasonable adjustment was just not feasible. Members were told home working wasn't an employer's policy. They were told home working was just like, was, was just, just they were told home homework and wasn't likely to be adopted. But the pandemic changed everything. It created ho a home working revolution. A revolution not based on principal argument that home working would allow disabled people to do their jobs better with less pay, less fatigue, and better allow them to manage their time, health conditions, and impairments. Home, the home working revolution was purely a necessity. The home working revolution was purely a necessity response to the pandemic. When COVID nineteen hit, suddenly millions of people were told explicitly to work from home, including many of those who had previously been told it was impossible. And whoever we talked to about the impact of the pandemic on the lives of disabled people, we must look at the statistics. Six in 10 of all deaths involving COVID-19 with disabled people. The government told us that over 100,000 people have died and 60,000 of these people were disabled. There's no excuse the government have badly botched the handle of the pandemic and disabled people have paid with their lives. The pandemic has a massive impact on the world of work and much of the impact has been negative when it comes to disabled workers. And make no mistake, mandatory home working has not has had a, ne a negative impact on some disabled workers. We believe that home working should be a members led and that's their choice and not something composed on them. However, home working for many disabled workers was the most important reasonable adjustment they had requested. And and the first request turned down by employers. We know home working comes with many benefits for disabled members, increased productivity and reduced sickness absence. A unison survey on home workers during the pandemic found that three quarters, 73% of disabled workers were more productive when working from home. When asked why the reasons uh, for increased productivity uh, that included impact on pain, fatigue due to uh, less commuting and ability to wear with additional breaks and later starting times. The same survey found that a number of disabled workers took less sickness absence as they were able to manage their condition and better working from home. And importantly, over 54% said they would like to continue working from home in the future. The trade union movement must continue to ensure employees put in place and keep in place reasonable adjustments, including home working. For over a year, employers have enabled home working, and where in the past they said it was not possible. We've seen it, it, it can work, it is possible. We must ensure that disabled workers who want to work from home as a reasonable adjustment can do so. I now call on